hey guys what's up this is chrissy with everyday tidbits welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome if not welcome back please hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time i post i would love for you to be a part of my youtube family today i'm going to show you how to make this easy wine cork p monogram for your wall you're going to need some wood glue some wine corks and this wooden p that i got from hobby lobby you're also going to need some hot glue and i'll show you what you're going to do with that at the end Before I start, I'm going to take a moment to sort the corks into the red corks and the white corks just to make it more aesthetically pleasing. I can control where I put the colors on my pee as I glue them on. The next thing I'm going to do is use the wood glue to glue the corks onto my letter. It doesn't have to be exact, you can stagger them. Just make sure that when you're close to the edge that you overlap slightly so that you don't see the edge of your letter. After a while of gluing each individual cork on, I felt that it was easier to just make one long string of glue and glue them on like that. It just it made my life easier and it made the project go by a lot quicker. As you can see here, we're making progress. If the glue is still a little wet, that gives you opportunity to move the corks around and reposition them before it dries. And I'll show you at the end how we're gonna tweak it after all of the corks are glued down. As you start to get to some of the thinner parts of the letter, you might have to actually use glue on the sides of the corks to stick onto those ends so they won't hang off and fall off.
here's what it looks like after all of the corks are glued down and all of the letter are covered with corks. Now I'm gonna show you how we can fill in those gaps on the ends. Since hot glue dries super fast, we're going to use hot glue to glue on some extra corks around the edges so we can fill in the gaps and fill in all the edges that you can actually see. The hot glue is super hot, so when you're doing this, be careful that you don't burn your fingers. And here's what it looks like when it's complete. I am going to be hanging this on the wall. There's actually two holes on the back of it. And if you were to happen to find a wooden letter that doesn't have holes on the back of it, you can buy a picture kit where you can screw the little things on the back and you'll be able to hang it on the wall. So this is my completed project. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell notification so that you're notified every time I post. You can also follow me on Instagram at everyday underscore tidbits. I would love for you to be a part of my YouTube family. If you make this project, please tag me on my Instagram page so I can see it. Thanks and have a great day.